Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are doing an update on the GTR. All right guys, welcome back. We are working on this GTL, finally. And by finally, I mean we've been working on it for a while. And a lot of it's just been done behind the scenes. But this is gonna be an update video. This is not gonna be, let's work on this. This is gonna be like, a, how far did I get on this GTL? Uh, if you guys have been following me, been watching my channel, I got this car two months ago, three months ago. And there's a lot of stuff that I've been waiting on parts, trims, stuff like that to get my body panels done. And uh, the car's been standing there for a while. But I finally received them not too long ago. And uh, I get to finally work on it. So lately, I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. And if you're wondering why the car's high, it's because it's lifted which is also a brand new addition to the shop. Bought myself a snap-on uh, pulseless lift and I'm in love with it. It makes my life so much easier working on this GTO and uh, other cars, especially you lift it to where you need it right here. Check this out. I'm working on this panel and I'm not breaking my back it's wonderful it's like yeah it's awesome anyway uh back to the gto uh i got a lot of this stuff been sanded these fenders all the stuff it's all been sanded it's getting ready to be reprimed because first i tried out sanding this thing with 320 uh, thinking because just an update this car has been worked on before I got it and they bonded it they sprayed the primer and uh, let me just lower the car really quick all right now it's a little lower I can actually show you what's going on uh, so this car has been worked on before it got to me and they sprayed everything with primer it should have been all block sanded 320 600 and ready for paint uh the issue was the bodywork was done really terribly and uh i started sanding it with 320 then i realized i need to go higher and then or lower and so i went down to 180 then i went down to 120 and then basically 80 120 depending on the spots and on and on so what have i been what have i done so far to the car uh fenders doors both sides been block sanded uh there's a lot of places where body work had to be done here 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 and just all over there, pretty much everywhere, uh, there's low spots, high spots, and on and on and on. But also, the other stuff I did was, when I received all my parts, all the trims, I went in and I got the door jams all aligned, and the fenders aligned, both sides, and also on this side. So all, all this stuff has been aligned with the hood and stuff. And I took the hood off. I've been working on it somewhere else. Well, it's over there. Actually, let's go take a look. So uh, a lot of it's been sanded like on the hood. This is what the hood looks like now. Uh, it's almost ready to be primed and as you can see there's high spots low spots there's a bunch of spots where body work's been already done here 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 and then uh this line was like this so i had to work on that and so it's almost done it's getting worked on 
but a lot of it is just body work, body work, body work. But anyway, so for the most part, the front to here is almost there. There's still a little bit here and there to do, but the back has also been done. Uh, I forgot to grab my camera the day I was doing the quarter panels. And so I didn't get anything filmed. I just ended up taking a bunch of pictures. Well, by a bunch, I mean a few. And so, uh, yeah, so basically I got this quarter panel done. And a lot of it has been re-welded, re-cut, and re And I got some guide coat on top to help see where it's getting sanded what's not and uh it's almost there there's a lot of work it's not even funny but uh there's a bunch of low spots that needed to be hammered out and whatever not currently i lifted this car i'm gonna continue working on it i actually grabbed my camera this time so i can film an update what's going on with the car uh because i'm working on it right now and i figured i gotta film it before i forget completely and the car's done and i'll be like here we go guys it's done but uh there's a bunch of issues and we'll, uh, the more i work on it the more issues i find quarter panel i knew there's gonna be a bunch of work there that is i knew it was coming but there's stuff like this, for example. This right here is a hole. So whoever worked on this before me, they put, uh, they filled the hole up with Bondo. So all of this was filled with Bondo. And what I mean by that is, let's walk on the other side. And uh, this is the other side. So, I took a screwdriver and I started poking around and I'm like that looks so weird right because if you look at this like it used to look a little better but I start trying to get this shit out and so uh, I start poking around and uh, this was just filled with Bondo so I have to take all this out weld out all this cut out some sheet metal weld it all up and uh, just stuff like that that is just surprise after surprise and it's like that definition of working on classics always running into issues with rust buckets but anyway talking about rust buckets um, right here I took a screwdriver and you can literally just poke a hole through some of these spots where it just rusted through and if you look on the inside so this hole right here this one not so much this one it's actually if you look through there it's right there in the corner you can see it so if if i didn't find a bondo and left it there that is gonna fall off and get yeah, water, moisture, all that stuff within months. Cause you gotta remember this stuff is exposed. All the stuff inside of the panel. And if the car's sitting outside or even like winter time, like winter times when you go in the car and it moisture or whatnot, that stuff would have been done. So luckily for me and my handy screwdriver, uh, I got a bunch of welding to do. So uh, that's what I'm currently working on. I gotta figure out these um, fender walls, whatever you call them. And then also gotta weld up this weld up all this re-weld it still gotta figure out what i'm gonna do there maybe cut out a new sheet and but anyway uh right here 
there's just bondo right here all this is bondoed and so i'm gonna have to clean that up and uh clean this whole bay because you got junk here i just took the wheels off so it makes my life easier but anyway that's enough of that uh that's currently what i gotta do uh before i continue doing more body work i gotta make sure everything's welded up and go on from there uh taking a look at the back so the roof's been sanded for the most part it's all straight oh uh, once this stuff gets sprayed with primer the whole thing it's gonna be block sanded and then it's gonna look pretty good uh a lot of this stuff you it looks like a mess but it's it's almost there um uh, trunk lead ran in it ran into an issue with that too whoever was working on it uh couldn't get the lid aligned and uh once again with my handy screwdriver i went to this quarter panel and a lot of times when i do body work i like to go in and i just knock do you hear that metal yeah it wasn't there and also on this side metal now it wasn't there before either uh here's some pictures of what it looked like what happened was this person couldn't align this lid right so it was a little too high so what he did was he put a bunch of bondo right here to even it all out i had to take a screwdriver and i just took a hammer and start whacking it and just taking chunks of chunks of um bondo off the panel on both sides this side and that side and so uh yeah that's kind of how how it goes so uh right now it's pretty much straight there's still a lot a lot of sanding to do but for the most part like I let it straight it's it's gonna that's best as it gets oh and talking about this fender also um got this quarter panel done uh also rewelded and bondoed and it's coming out pretty good uh, for the most part it's definitely not a one day job it's definitely uh, a long process but we're getting there slowly and steady so that is my 10 minute of uh mumbling or renting or whatever you want to call it on this build all right guys that is it for this episode i know it was just me talking but uh i felt like i need to uh update some of you guys whoever is interested in this car uh, of the process and the progress on it it is getting a lot of work done it is coming along slowly it is pain in the ass but someday it's gonna be a beautiful restored classic with a V8 engine and brum 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 what not but <laughs> until then we gotta suffer it through this yeah you guys got it but um thanks so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it let me know down below if you guys want to see more content on this build let me know in the comments and uh i will try to release more content once I get further into the build because uh, a lot of it could be condensed into um, a shorter film so that's probably how this build's gonna end up being a much much shorter just update videos kind of not so much of let's work on this today it's more of like this is what's done 
this is how far we got and this is uh someday gonna be all done and so um yeah next thing i gotta do is a bunch of other stuff the engine needs to come out maybe maybe not who knows the engine bay needs to be sprayed uh the trunk needs to be sprayed and cleaned up and there's just a bunch of stuff and so that's gonna be in the next video i'm gonna update you guys how that goes and uh yeah thanks so much for watching have a great day and we'll see you next time